to my channel how you guys doing happy friday today is friday and i'm about heading out my text is already coming yeah text is coming to pick me up i need to pick up my student the one that arrived in cyprus that was the last two weeks something like that yeah she's done with her quarantine so i need to pick her up then take her to her apartment like this particular student eh? this girl don't stress me go she don't stress me I've received a lot of insults from this lady. I gave her an admission. It was a problem. I paid for her school fees. Problem. I bought her a ticket. Problem. I did her okay to board. Problem. She arrived in Cyprus peacefully. It was also a problem to her. I've never met someone like this in my entire life. To tell someone sorry when she's wrong is a very expensive thing to her. Like she complained about every single thing I did for her. She complained about the apartment I kept for her. Her reason was if I did cook, the smoke would smell for my room. Crayfish would smell in the studio apartment. She said I should go and collect her deposit from the landlord, which I did. And after after some days, she changed her mind again. She said I should go back to the landlord to pay for the house again for her. Like, this particular girl, she don't stress me. She insulted me, the agent and everybody. Like, you need to be calming down as a lady. You don't have to be rude. Life is not like that. This one is Cyprus, so nobody get busy time for Cyprus. Like, I, I created my time for you. I know how much I spent. Like, I went to several places in Cyprus just to get a house for this lady. I went there with my money. Yeah, it's not like she's paying me for it. She paid for, uh, for agency fee for the admission. But every other thing I did for her, everything was free. Well, I don't want to talk too much. My test is outside. I need to be on my way. I'll see you guys later. So let's go. Let me close my window. <sighs> my bag. Okay. Let's go. So guys, I'm on my way. I need to pick her up. I'm in the test. lot of things to do today i have i have one exam to write today by 1 p.m but hey i need to settle her case may her matter come off for my head ungrateful person she's very arrogant very very arrogant among all my students when don't come start process now this one don't stress me past no matter what you do for her she will complain like she complain i don't know So that is her bag. I need to pick up her bags. She didn't even say anything to me. Oh. Like, see this life, eh? the location so I'm on my way to her meet call I need to meet up with the agent guy and the landlord and madam is here our madam be madam oh. you when they control me you be madam you they control me like I never deal with person like you for my entire life. I swear to God. I just want peace to reign. That's why I'm doing all this. Man, I'm sweating. The weather is like here today.
that is the girl she needs to get the other bag and we saw some nigerian guys outside so we are here i need to take this bag upstairs it's very heavy very heavy i don't even know how to go about it Ooh. do you need help i need help thank you where are you from from nigeria from nigeria sure are you sure sure I don't resemble yeah. Nigeria. No. Really? Gross. Where are you from Nigeria? Sweet. Lagos. Lagos? So, yeah. Thank you. Let me ask you to. I'll get it off for you. Okay. So, I need to get the other bag from her. Let me assist you. Oh, it's very heavy. So, guys, we are here. Eh? Yeah, there's a cooker. You can talk to him about it. So, finally. Man, I love the reflection. So, this is the apartment and her bags are here. And uh, the kitchen is here. I showed you guys before. This is the bathroom. And her cooking gas, bro, still over, so... Yeah. No verse, like forget the gay character bed. No verse. No verse. They won't change them. Okay, they want to change the bed. That is her bag. And then she bought my lotions and the crayfish. I need to pick up my items then go home. Yeah. Is the laundry area. So we are done. I'm heading to Le Mans. I need to get some stuff in Le Mans. And I'm still with her. We are going together to do some shopping. So, I'm in the bus. We are heading straight to Le Mans. Guys, we are shopping. We need some food stuff and there's some kitchen things. I need a pot for myself, like a small pot. I need something like this for Indomie. How much is it? Okay, 30 yet. That is a lot. You need pot, Abby? Oh, yeah, come now. Pick anyone you want. Fridge. This one is cheap, 70 for two. Or if you want to go to Mr. Pounds, they are cheaper there.
Okay, I need to get some things. I need to be home by 1 p.m. It's late already. I'm just going to leave her here to do the shopping herself because I have exam by 1 p.m. It's after 12. I'll be leaving soon. I have exam by 1 p.m. Sheets and this one. Okay, you have. Yeah. Wait, no worry. You go buy this thing for. Baby dryer. Which one is baby dryer? You don't need bed sheets. So what are you going to be using? Do you have towel? Man, this thing is expensive. It's forty L for just ordinary towel. That is a lot. Do you have bed sheets? Let's go now. I don't have enough time. What is that? What is it for? Pillowcase. Pillowcase? Yeah. No, 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 it's too small. It's too small. And here now? I think it's an uh, orthopedic. Thirty ninety L. It's too much. If you don't watch this one once, you don't finish now. Sunday market, you go see this one by if you go Mr. Pounds. Or China Bazaar, they are there and they are very cheap. So, what next? We need tomatoes and uh, pepper. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. See my boss. See my madam. <laughs> Kevin, this girl don't show me pepper for Cyprus. She don't stress my life, Taya. I'm almost done. Sorry, I need a battery for my mouse. They are pepper, no, they're too hot too. No, this is their normal pepper here. This one. You know, they're hot like that. Or oh, just one. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. So, we are done with shopping. I'm about heading home. We are waiting for taxi. I'm very close to Lema Supermarket. We are waiting for taxi. May see so see where that hey. So guys, I'm done and uh, I put her in the taxi. She's going back home and I need to take a cab to my house. I'm done for today. Like tell me while I don't come up for my hair though. She was doing yaga. And they help her they carry bag. She can't do your guy, they can't walk, they follow me. She's my madam, oh my madam. Like and that girl stressed me, she to be honest. She stressed me, she stressed her landlord and the agent guy. But thank god everything is okay. She arrived in Cyprus peacefully. So I'll talk to you guys later because I've already missed my exams for today. I'll go for the for the receipt and I'm going to Guinea this evening. I have a lot to do in Guinea today. I will see you guys later. Bye. Have a nice day. Man, I'm finally home. So I need to go upstairs, take my bath and then... Uh, Take a taxi to Guinea. Hectic <sighs> day. Hi guys, good morning. How you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Yeah, so 
I missed my exams yesterday because of shopping and uh, everything. I did a lot of things yesterday because of my students that arrived in Cyprus. I wasn't able to meet up with my exam time. You saw the way that particular student behaved. So I don't know what to call her, but there's something about her. I'm still trying to like figure it out. The kind of person she is. I've never met someone like this in my entire life. If you see the way she approached her landlord, that was yesterday. When I went to pick her up, I saw her and I called her like three times. This lady bounced my call. She was standing. She was there looking at me. Yeah, she was standing looking at me. I didn't even know she was the one. I was like, are you Kemi? And she said, yes. I, see, person where they call, they find. She see me. She no even talk to me. I said, okay, let me help her with her bags. I was even struggling with her bags. She was standing there looking at me. And the taxi driver was like, is she not the one you are trying to help? And I said, yes. So when we arrived in her apartment, those two guys, those two Igbo guys, those Nigerian guys, they were supposed to help us with her bags. Because anything that has to do with heavy load, I can't even carry anything heavy because of my back issues. As you guys know, I have some bone issues so anything that has to do with heavy bags i can't even lift anything heavy so i was trying to like beg those guys to help us with her bags she made a statement and they changed their mind yeah when her landlord and then the agent guy came to open the door for her if you see the way kemi behaved to them i was even expecting kemi to say hi to them or good morning she didn't even say anything to them the next thing she said was this boys they know if help us carry bag this landlord is not even my age mate. She saw me when I said, hi, good morning, sir, to both of them. Kemi ignored them. And she said, these guys, these boys, they don't feel like person carry bag, go upstairs. Like, I don't know how people think. There is no manners. You are talking to your landlord like, these boys, they don't feel like person carry bag. And the landlord was like, excuse me. She didn't even say hi to the landlord or the agent guy. There's nothing like good morning from her. Even when I greeted her, I saw her the first time and I was like, Kemi, good morning, welcome to Cyprus. This lady just looked me from her to to two. That girl gets mind. Someone you have never met before. You address your landlord as this boy Snowfy helped me carry bag, go upstairs. I was even trying to like struggle with her bags. They are very heavy. And those two Nigerian guys, they were supposed to help us with her bags. She made a statement and they changed their mind. They left us there. When we arrived upstairs, the landlord said, this lady cannot stay in my house. She's very arrogant. No manners. She's going to cause problem to other tenants. So the agent guy was trying to talk to the landlord. Please, she just came from Nigeria. All those kind of things. You don't approach people like that. Come on, something is wrong with this lady. She need help. This landlord, he was born and brought up in the UK. Yeah. I wish not Turkish man. Eh? <laughs> you see that your attitude. It will help you rearrange your your brain. During the shopping, she was very sluggish. I was like, hey, girl, you need to hurry up. I have an exam to write today. Like, I was supposed to write an exam by 1.30, another one by 5, I'll be 6 p.m. So, the next thing she said was, around 1.30, I'll be around 1.40 p.m. She said, she be you say you get exams today. 1.30 never pass for your eye. That means I'm lying to her. That I have an exams and I was supposed to be at home before the one thirty. I was even trying to help her to make sure she feel comfortable because she doesn't even know anywhere. For me to leave her just like that at the mall is somehow to me. I decided to like forget about the exam because there's another receipt for the exams which is next week. So and she said, she you say you get exam by one thirty. The one thirty never pass for your eye. That means in a lie, now a lie giver. There's something about writing exams in Cyprus. There's something they call receipts in Cyprus. If you miss the first one, you can always go for receipts. So I just removed my mind from the exams like, okay, I'm going to go for the receipt, which is next week. With all the insults she gave me before she came to Cyprus, even when she arrived in Cyprus, I ignored everything. I was still there for her, trying to make sure she's okay. I was even trying to be friendly with her, trying to joke with her, but everything was like... She insulted me before she came to Cyprus. 
she complained we argue about a lot of things on the phone to me i just ignored everything i ignored everything i was still there for her trying to make sure she feel comfortable in cyprus after all the stress after all the shopping i was expecting kemi to say winter thank you there was nothing like thank you from this lady I missed my exams because of her. I was even helping her to carry her bags. Like I carried how many bags? Three bags and my own at the same time. Ordinary thank you. Like thank you and sorry is very expensive to this lady. It's not like she paid me for all this. She paid for admission fee. Sorry, she paid for agency fee. That was the only thing she paid for. To me, she insulted me. It's not even the problem because I'm used to her insult and everything. You are meeting your landlord for the first time. The next thing you said was, like, this boys, the no fee help person carry bag, go upstairs. It's very wrong. You need to put yourself together. That is not how to behave. I sent her money back then in Nigeria to buy my body lotion, my soap, my tube, my serum, and a crayfish. Yeah. I sent her money. She bought crayfish. I collected my crayfish from her. That was yesterday. But my lotion, she said she cargoed my lotion with her stuff to Cyprus. She told me she'll be coming to Cyprus with her properties. And I was like, hey, hey, properties to do what in Cyprus? You can always get those things in Cyprus. She said, no, you want me to leave my properties in Nigeria and then come to abroad. Who they travel go abroad with properties? Do you know what she did? She cargoed all her stuff from Nigeria to Cyprus. Instead of her to put North Cyprus address, she sent everything to South. Before she left Nigeria, she was complaining, my properties are too much, I don't want to carry heavy load, blah, 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 those kind of things. And I was like, okay, there's no problem. There's another student that will be coming with you. Hand over my stuff to the student. They live in the same area in Lagos. And she said, no, no worry. I don't already cargo your things. After she buy those things finished, she couldn't give me attitude. The insult started, her nagging, her insult. Like I was tired of everything. And I told her, okay, hand over my stuff to the student. He's going to bring everything down to me in Cyprus. And she said, I don't already cargo your stuff with my bags to Cyprus. She doesn't even know the difference between South and North Cyprus. Now her bags, they are in South Cyprus instead of North Cyprus. So when I saw her yesterday, she gave me the crayfish with, see your crayfish. When I arrived home, I just carried the crayfish. I put them for inside my dustbin. Let me go and show you guys. Let's go. You see this life, so it is very sweet too. This life, what I might say money no day. This life, it is very sweet. There are some statements you don't even use on people. She gave me that crayfish yesterday. I was like, Upon the character, all the insults, like, I know if you chop that kind of thing. Forget about the money I sent to her in Nigeria to get me the crayfish and the stuff. I just carry everything put for my dustbin. Let me go and show you guys a bed. I know if we talk. Let's go. So, this is my waist bin. Let me open it for you guys to see. This is the crayfish. This is the second one. So, I know if chop them, they are here. I can't even eat them. For me to eat that crayfish is a big problem to me because that girl don't to do. Yeah, because of her character, I'm even scared to make use of that crayfish and my body lotions. Even if she bring the lotions to this self, I don't even need them. I don't. Yeah, there are some things you don't say to people. There's one thing about me. I don't even know how to gossip people. I don't even know how to bite, bite people. What I will talk for your back, now I will talk for your front. You see the way she was behaving when I was like, see her, she's my madam who, with your character. She was laughing. Yeah, she was laughing because she knew what she did was wrong. I was expecting this lady to apologize to me when she saw me. She didn't even say hi to me. I greeted her like, hi, good morning, welcome to Cyprus. She just do her face like, say, I beg, I beg, I beg, don't disturb me. Really? Up to now, there's nothing like thank you message from this lady. Then she sent me a message yesterday like, 
uh, Binta, I ask you for your house address. And you know, give me. Now, they don't cargo my things. I call the people. They say, now, South Cyprus, neither. They were on earth. Do you think I will give you my house address? Like, for what? Even my reasonable student, the one that came before her, those ones self, they don't even stress me. They don't even know where I did stay. They don't even know where I live. Why do you think I will give you my house address? Like, for what? One of my friends is a Cypriot guy. He work in the South, yeah. His office and everything is in South Cyprus, but he based here in North Cyprus. He go to South every morning, then come back to North Cyprus in the evening. Azumi Kemi is a reasonable human being. I will call my friend to help her to get those things from South, but she doesn't deserve it. She don't deserve her. Why will I even stress myself to help her again? There's a way you behave to people. There are some things you say to people that will make someone to be scared of you. So guys, if you want to come to North Cyprus to study, contact me on Instagram with Adventure Smile. Anything that has to do with your visa, admission, payment of school fees, accommodation, okay to board. Like, sis, your girl is here. I'm here. I'm here to help you out. The agency fee is very affordable. Very affordable. So contact me on Instagram with Adventure Smile. If you are like Kemi, don't even bother to send me a DM bro, because me, my peace of mind is very, very important to me. No matter the kind of money you want to pay me, like I don't care. If you are going to give me like Kemi character, don't even bother to send me a message, please. Because rest of mind is everything to me. I hate stress. I know Sabi chop pesi money. I know Sabi do, okay, school fees is 1,000 or school fees is 1,500. Give me one six or one seven. I'm not like that. I'm very, very straightforward. So if you have that kind of character, don't even bother to send me a message because I don't like stress. I hate when someone is trying to drag me, when someone is trying to stress me for unnecessary something. I don't like it, okay? Because... Since they born me, now so so stress, 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 stress. Now I don't distress for my life. This time I'm trying to balance myself. I'm trying to have rest of mind. So if you are coming to my DM, if you want to come through me to North Cyprus, if you know sin and stress, you won't stress me, I beg. I don't like stress. I don't like it. This lady almost frustrated me. Yeah, because of her character. She will call me middle of the night. Like she, she controls me do this thing today today like now now i'm not a jobless human be like i work i do a lot of things in cyprus it's not like she paid me she only paid for agency fee yeah do this do that she wants me to do everything in her own time nobody gets Percy time for cyprus if Percy gives you like 30 minutes of her time eh? appreciate her more nobody get Percy time for cyprus Man, I'll see you guys in my next video. Like, <sighs> bye. Have a nice day.